However, there is a little bit of pushback because um, when you look at these large utility scale projects, there is kind of a line in the sand that's that's either over five megawatts or under five megawatts. And National Electric Code Article 690 defines a uh, large PV system. They don't call it utility scale. I think that's just a industry slang, but uh, they define that that line in the sand is at five megawatts. And anything that's over five megawatts under Article 690 is essentially an engineer design, stamped and approved. Uh, however, some of the requirements are a little more lenient, uh, where you don't have to follow all of the quote rules of the National Electric Code because it's uh, quote behind no, the things. Be because they're bigger applications. They're bigger uh, applications. They are quote behind the fence. Yeah. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of a lot of they're out on the field somewhere, not on a building next to people. Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. However, if it's less than five megawatts, like you'll see, you know, projects that maybe community solar that's at two megawatts or something like that, you right. know, then you start getting scrutiny by AHJs that say, hey, well, this doesn't quite meet the code. You know, right. what about overcurrent protection, Article 240, you know, um, so forth. So we uh, developed what we refer to as our um, our breaker box. And let me pull up that picture. Um, and uh, I'm sorry, let me find it first. I did not share sure. it with you. Right. I yeah. apologize. And this is for your less than five megawatt solutions, basically. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. This does the same function. It is a three-in-one combiner, so it does the same function as the switch box, um, and it includes three 250-amp molded case circuit breakers. These do have a 50,000-amp interrupt capacity, and uh, this meets the requirement for having individual uh, circuit protection for each inverter circuit. So at the bottom here, I, I don't know if my mouse is showing up, but at the bottom oh, of this please. enclosure uh, where you're seeing the molded case circuit breakers, that's where the output of the inverters would attach to. And then mm -hmm. the combined bus bars would be the output uh, up to the um, step-up transformer, the pad-mounted transformer in this case. Um, so this product is also uh, UL7041 listed. It's a 3R enclosure. So you can see it's got vents on either side of it. It does come with surge protection shown on the left side there. Um, and this product would meet all of the requirements for the less than five megawatt applications. And uh, I will share a document here as well. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm hoping you're seeing the slide deck that's a yeah. PDF showing some yeah. uh, design yeah. options. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So these, uh, this was a, uh, a, uh, a brochure that we handed out at RE Plus mm -hmm. that shows some applications for our 275 kilowatt inverters. And these yeah. diagrams are really for, you know, reference only, and we can work with your design team, you know, independently to work on the details. But what we've done, everything with a green leaf mm -hmm. are products that are available through CPS. Uh, yeah. These are the, the string inverters starting on the left, and I'll, I'll zoom this in a little bit um, so your audience can see. Uh, so this is a, you know, kind of utility scale application design option where you've got three 275 kilowatt inverters, 800 volt output that are um, combining with our AC breaker box that I just showed. And then you can use the fuse disconnect uh, with a single input. You don't have to use all three. Uh, the bus bars are rated to carry uh, full current. Um, so this would be, you know, perfect for an application where you've got uh, a disconnect requirement uh, in the line of sight. Um, yeah. Then uh, the another option is to just use this, um, use a third party switchboard is another yep. option. Uh, again, there's no green leaf here. So this would be supplied by somebody else. And um, then for behind the fence option, which I started with the discussion with, uh, where you're just using the three-in-one uh, switch box, we call it, which is the fuse disconnect, um, this is another option. Uh, so this again would be the behind the fence Article 690 design option. And then these solutions would be uh, for 
uh, utility scale and CNI, or when we say CNI, it's less than that five, uh, five megawatt line in the sand. 